You, you must take the lexicon. Free me of my burden. The memories, I cannot stand them. You must take them away, return them to a Monchenzel. You must take the lexicon from me. Please, take it now. You must bring it to a Monchenzel. In the West, return it to them. It must go back. It's yours now. I won't take it back. I won't. I've got a lot of respect for the Restoration School. Skyrim could use a lot more healers. My husband, Bercy, will be the death of me. Oh, he spends too much time worrying about Riften and not enough about himself. A fine day to you, friend. May you die with a sword in your hands. I've never I see seen the old as upset about learn. anything. Lead on. The city Free really gets to her. You're someone who can get things done. I like that. Welcome to Riften, Traveler. I hope the road fared well for you. Good journey to you. I trust you have good news for me? The Blackbriar family has always been allied with the Guild. Our connections with the Empire and within Skyrim make for a perfect fit. I dare say the Guild owes its survival as much to my family as it does to its own people. Of course, nothing gets done without my approval in this city. I have the Jarl's ear and the guards in my pocket. Anyone makes trouble for me and I pay a visit to the Thieves' Guild. Make me angry and I contact the Dark Brotherhood. You do well to remember that the next time you make such a stupid observation. This doesn't tell me much. The only thing that could identify Sabion's partner is this odd little symbol. Well, whoever this mysterious marking represents, they'll regret starting a war with me. You should bring this information to the Thieves' Guild immediately. There's also the matter of your payment. I believe you'll find this more than adequate for your services. I believe we're done. Got a minute? Wanted to say something. I've never seen anyone with skills like yours. I just wanted to let you know that if you need anything, you can talk to me. My father told me he found me as a young boy in the wreckage of a ship that sank off of the coast near Solitude. All he found in my pocket was a tiny smooth stone inscribed with some sort of strange runes. No one does. I've even taken the damn thing to the College of Winterhold. I must have spent every last coin I've made with the guild trying to find out what it means. Perhaps they could be nonsense, inane scribbles done by someone in idle boredom. But if not, if they actually mean something, they might tell me where I'm from, what ship I was on, everything. Actually, the fisherman who found me, the man I call my father, gave it to me. Thought it was fitting, I suppose. I never changed it because it never felt right to do so. I appreciate that. 
Let's talk for a moment. Look, if I was a little harsh before, I just want you to know it's because you were new. Know what I mean? Look, I don't really know you. I don't even really know anyone here. Why do you care anyway? It's not like we're family. This is a business. Look, you want to know about me? All right, I'll tell you. I'll tell you about the time I was a young girl, barely out of her teens, living on a pig farm in the middle of nowhere. Didn't have a coin to spend between our entire family. Ate the same slop we fed our livestock. Oh wait, it gets much better. How about the fact that our farm was attacked by bandits, and that they killed my entire family who didn't even brandish a weapon against them? Here's the best part. They took me as a prize and violated me for a fortnight. Tossed me from bandit to bandit like... like... It's fine. I had to tell someone, I suppose. Carrying around a weight like that, it hurts after a while. Cuts you inside like a dagger to the heart. Over time, I managed to gain their confidence. Then one night I grabbed a knife, waited until they fell asleep, and cut their throats. I never returned to that pig farm, you know. There's nothing for me there. So that's my sad story. What do you think? Maybe one day. Just not today. I hope we bump into each other again. A lot of people are beginning to get impressed with you here. Me included. Just wanted to let you know. If you Word on the street is that poor Sabjorn has found himself in Whiterun's prison. How unfortunate for him. Exactly. Now you're beginning to see how our little system works. Maven sent word that you discovered something else while you were out there. Something important to the guild? Then this is beyond coincidence. First Arangoth, and now Sabjorn. Someone's trying to take us down by driving a wedge between Maven and the guild. Mercer thinks he knows a way to identify this new thorn in our side. He wants to meet with you right away. And if I were you, I'd hurry. I've never seen him this angry before. going? What do you need to take? Still... Fine. What? What? May the gods watch over your battles, friend. What do you need to take? Consulted my contacts regarding the information you recovered from Golden Glow Estate, but no one can identify that symbol. I've consulted my contacts regarding the information you recovered from Gold. It would seem our adversary is attempting to take us apart indirectly by angering Maven Blackbriar. Very clever. They're well-funded, and they've been able to avoid identification for years. I'm impressed it reached this point. Just don't mistake my admiration for complacency. Our nemesis is going to pay dearly. 
Because even after all their posturing and planning, they've made a mistake. The parchment you recovered mentions a Gajal lie. According to my sources, that's an old alias used by one of our contacts. His real name is Gullum I. Slimy bastard. Gullum I is our inside man at the East Empire Company in solitude. I'm betting he acted as a go-between for the sale of Golden Glow Estate and that he can finger our buyer. Get out there, shake him down, see what you come up with. Talk to Brynjolf before you leave if you have any questions. I can't believe Gullum Eye's mixed up in all this. That Argonian couldn't find his tail with both hands. Don't get me wrong, he could scam a beggar out of his last septum, but he's no mastermind. Trouble? <laughs> he's one of the most stubborn lizards I've ever met. You have your work cut out for you. You're going to have to buy him off. It's the only way to get his attention. If that fails, follow him and see what he's up to. If I know Gullum Eye, He's in way over his head, and you'll be able to use it as leverage. I'm glad to see you're embracing our methods. It would be a waste to lose a contact at the East Empire Company before we had the entire story. Just keep on Gollum Eye's tail, and he's bound to step into something he can't scrape off his boot. Gollum Eye works in the East Empire Company warehouse. He helps maintain all of the shipments of goods that goes in and out of solitude. That means he has the pick of the litter from some of the finest goods to grace Skyrim shores. He isn't exactly in the guild, but he pays us a cut of all the stuff he lifts from the warehouse. There are thieves, and then there is Gullum Eye. No honor, no code at all. He'd shake your hand and stab you in the back at the same time. The cut he's supposed to provide the guild has dwindled as of late. He says pickings in the warehouse are slim, but I'm certain he's lying. Keep your eyes on him. He's quite crafty. Just head right back to the guild and get the information to Mercer. Nothing else is more important. If you discover Gullum Eye's holding out on us and has more loot stashed away than he claims, we'd find that information quite valuable as well. A mercantile group that has established ports all over Tamriel. They pretty much dominate the whole shipping industry. The Emperor himself supposedly backs them, which means they have fairly unlimited resources, so don't get their feathers in a ruffle. I wish only to graduate and enroll with the Legion. My drums will lead our troops to victory. Being old's not so bad. Daughter keeps me fed, and my working days are done. So, what do we have here? Hmm... Let me guess. By your scent, I'd say you were from the Guild. But that can't be true, because I told Mercer I wouldn't deal with them anymore. I don't deal in land or property. Now if you're looking for goods, you've come to the right person. Oh, wait. Did you say Golden Glow Estate? Uh, my apologies. I'm sorry to say I know very little about that uh, bee farm, was it? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I can't be expected to remember every deal I handle. I don't care what you promise. If I tell you the buyer's name and word gets around, it could ruin me. Well, now that you mention it, there is something I've been trying to get my hands on. I have a buyer looking for a case of Firebrand wine. There just so happens to be a single case in the Blue Palace. Bring it to me, and we'll talk about Golden Glow Estate. Unless we have specific business, I'm not interested. 
Debts are debts. Either he pays them, or his kind do. Don't think so. Debts are debts. Either he pays them, or his kind do. Fine. You sound like a priest of Mara, but I get your point. Tell him to forget about the gold. Keep your sword on, Strong. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. Oh, what delight. Another charming customer. Clothes and raiment for the discerning customer. Finally. Oh, let me just drop everything to help you. It is when my customers waste time chatting and not buying. Radiant Raiment has the finest attire in all of Skyrim. That is how we get business. Thank the gods for the end of yet another pointless conversation. Make sure to recommend us to your associates. I'm too old to work, but that don't make me too old to drink. You've done a fine thing for me. You know, I used to be quite a warrior in my day. Let me show you a thing or two. You should speak to my daughter, Yvette. She's the brains of the family. I see you have the wine. Hand it over, and we'll talk. Good. Can't have the buyer getting impatient and looking elsewhere for this, can we? Here, take this. I certainly can't use it, but I suppose I need to pay you something for the goods. Not at all. I consider it an investment in prolonging my life. As far as Golden Glow Estate goes, I'll tell you what I know. I was approached by a woman who wanted me to act as the broker for something big. 
She flashed a bag of gold in my face and said all I had to do was pay Erangoth for the estate. I brought in the coin and walked away with her copy of the deed. Not at all. I tend not to ask too many questions when I'm on the job. I'm sure you understand. However, I did notice she was quite angry, and it was being directed at Mercer Frey. In this business, we rarely deal in names. Our identity comes from how much coin we carry. Look, that's all I know. I never promised you I'd have all the answers. Now, since our transaction is done, I'll be on my way. Look, I've told you everything. Now leave me alone. Huh? Why are you following me? I told you, I don't know anything else. Our business has concluded, and you're standing in my way. to wonder. What does the Dragonborn do once he's summoned by the Greybeards? Can the Thuan be taught? Like any skill. Got to thinking. Maybe I'm the Dragonborn, and I just don't know it yet. I heard something. You can't win this! No more! I yield! I yield! You're not supposed to be in here! in here.
Someone there? Now there's no need to do anything rash. is isn't as bad as it seems. I was gonna tell Mercer about everything. Honestly, please, he'll have me killed. I see you wish to be reasonable. Did you want the information or not? I'll tell you what. You start running so I can stab you in the back. Responsible for murdering the previous guildmaster, Gallus. Now she's after Mercer. Mercer never told you about her? Carlia is the thief responsible for murdering the previous guildmaster, Gallus. Now she's after Mercer. Look, did you want the information? Mercer never told you about her? 
Carlia is the thief responsible for murdering the previous guildmaster, Gallus. Now she's after me. Did you want the information or not? Now, there's no need to do anything rash. This isn't as bad as it seems. I was gonna tell Mercer about everything, honestly. Please, he'll have me killed. I see you wish to be reasonable. Perhaps I misjudged you. The name of the person you want is Carlia. Mercer never told you about her? Carlia is the thief responsible for murdering the previous... Information or not? I'm getting out of here. Gods, another fight. Oh, I'm staying out. Oh. All right, damn you! Staying out of this. That's all you've got?
If I can just uh, stand up. I'm getting out of here. Now there's no need to do anything rash. This isn't as bad as it seems. I was gonna tell Mercer about everything, honestly. Please, you'll have me killed. I see you wish to be reasonable. Perhaps I misjudged you. The name of the person you want is Carlia. Mercer never told you about her? Carlia is the thief responsible for murdering the previous guildmaster, Gallus. Now she's after Mercer. Help! No, no! Look, I didn't even know it was her until after she contacted me. Please, you have to believe me. I don't know. When I asked her where she was going, she just muttered, where the end began. Here, take the Golden Glow estate deed as proof. And when you speak to Mercer, tell him I'm worth more to him alive. You needed to know more? I asked her the same thing, and she wouldn't come out and tell me. But now that I know who she is, I'd say she's trying to hit the Thieves' Guild where it hurts. Maven Blackbriar needs Golden Glow's honey for her mead. She's been using the Guild to keep the estate under her thumb. If the owner cuts the Guild out of the picture, he's cutting Maven out of the picture, which she can't afford. If I was Maven, I'd blame the Guild for weakening and not being able to handle the place. Exactly. For the Guild to survive, they need Maven's support. This Carlia must have spent a lot of time and resources planning this. Consider it a gift to ensure your silence. That thing seems to be bringing me nothing but trouble anyway. Carlia didn't even want it. She wanted to keep the sale a secret. I can see how well that went. Now you're speaking my language. Tell you what, if you need any stolen goods fenced, you bring them to me, and I'll pay you good money for them. Consider me your new friend in the North. Now you won't forget to tell Mercer I cooperated, will you? Is someone there? <laughs> oh! We are routed! Fall back! <clears throat> we are routed! Fall back! Skyrim belongs to the north! Oh! Staying out of this. Ah! If I can just... stand up... True lords never back! No... not like this! Count out your coin. Victory is yours. I submit. No. Not I yield! I yield! Uh, no! Stay out of this. 
Let's see what you've got. No more? I yield! I yield! If I can just... stand up... We are rounded! Fall back! Uh, no, not like this! Enough! I'll carve you into big... Enough! If I can just... stand up... I submit! If I can just... stand up... Ah! Uh, no, not like this! Hello, I'm Gizli, but you can just call Spare me Spare some gold. Sister. Everyone does. Oh, thank you. Chapter more two. Viren said you got here just before the execution. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. I know you. But those tendrils bind our reality. There's no mistake. You're a wanted man, and it's time to pay for your crimes. Tendrils Good enough. I'll just confiscate any spell. stolen goods you're carrying. Then you're free to go. I'll take my leave then.
I welcome you, friend. How may I serve you? Take a look. Quite the opposite, in fact. The soldiers are some of our best customers, for we offer supplies and wares they cannot obtain by other means. It was Rissad's idea to come here now, while the land is in turmoil, where others saw only danger, he saw opportunity. May your road lead you to warm sands. This one needs something? I hope that you will there come is to no trust for Karshit in this place. I give up any information on our buyer? No, it, it can't be. I haven't heard that name in decades. This is grave news indeed. She's someone I hope to never cross paths with again. Sorry, Carlia destroyed everything this guild stood for. She murdered my predecessor in cold blood and betrayed the guild. After we discovered what she'd done, we spent months trying to track her down, but she just vanished. Carlia and I were like partners. I went with her on every heist. We watched each other's backs. I know her techniques, her skills. If she kills me, there'll be no one left that could possibly catch her. If only we knew where she was. There's only one place that could be place where she murdered Gallus, a ruin called Snowvale Sanctum. We have to go out there before she disappears again. Yes, I'm going with you, and together we're going to kill her. Here's your payment for solitude. Prepare yourself and meet me at the ruins as soon as you can. We can't let her slip through our fingers.